Hi, this is your Kuya Willie, your fish expert here at Allen Pacific. Now, we're talking about golden pampano. Golden pampano is from China. This is best for pan fry, deep fry, sinigang, or pakshiu. This is oysters from the Pacific, which is harvested in Oregon and the state of Washington. And this is good as raw, or you can put it in the grill for like two, three minutes, so it will open easier for you. As soon as you open it, you can put salsa, Tabasco, cilantro, and some lemon, and you will enjoy it with some beer or some wine and with some rice. This is your clam. You can make it to a soup or steam it. Same thing, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of lemon and Tabasco. And again, this is perfect for soup, especially in the cold weather. This is your pusset, which is the California squid. California squid is perfect for adobo. Adobo squid is one of the staples, I think, as a Filipino that we have. And this, this is fresh caught off by San Pedro, by Catalina Island. These are locally caught here in California. And I'm probably say that we have one of the freshest squid here in California, especially at the Pacific. These are smelt. Smelt is good for frying, deep fry, or even breaded. And for polutan, this is best. Some people do this for fish baguong. This is your bangos, milkfish. The national fish of the Philippines. Best for sinigang, pan fry, deep fry, paksyu, pangat, whatever you want. Best for everything. The best part of bangos is your belly. The belly part, oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. And this is Norway mackerel. Norwegian mackerel, which is the, also called saba. Little bit more strong fish smell on it because of the rich omega-3 fat. These are cold water mackerel caught in Norway. If you pan fry this or deep fry it, you can see the natural fish oil flowing on the meat. So enjoy. This is your pampano from the Gulf or Pacific of Mexico. This came in fresh last night. Again, good for pangat, good for fry. Again, with tomato, cilantro, and a little bit of salted egg with your rice. Perfect. Your sardinas, this is your sardines, okay? Or your herring. Perfect for frito, for fry. Or some people make it sardinas in the can. Some people do it on the little jars that they have at home. Galunggong. Galunggong is caught in the Philippines, Taiwan, China, Malaysia. These are great for frying or they call it sinaing. The fish itself is a little bit dry, but it's flaky. Pair it again with rice and tomato and soy sauce. This is your golden thread, which is bisugo. Pan fry with tausi with rice again. This is your mackerel sanma which is typical, you can see it in a Japanese restaurant when you pair it with the tempura, with rice, and they serve it with California roll. When you pan fry this or deep fry it, it's perfect. It's really good. And some people do it pakshu, too. And this is your pampano. The pampano, pan fry, or pakshu, or pangat, again. And these are caught in Brazil, Ecuador, sometimes Philippines. And this is your hasa hasa. Hasa hasa is caught in the Philippines, mainly in Asia or East Asia, which is India. Again, the pan fry, pangat, taksyu, whatever you want to do with the fish, it's perfect. With rice again. This is your baby bangos. You can make daing with it or pan fry. Again, the belly part of the bangos. The, the bigger they are, the better they are because the belly part, the belly part is the best of the bangos. This is your baby bonita for pan frying again or simaing, like a steam. And with rice, perfect. Oh, this is one of my favorite, which is the jumbo squid. Jumbo squid is mainly caught in New Zealand, Korea, or Taiwan. Perfect for barbecue. Some people do it, kilowin, for this jumbo squid. And sometimes they stuff it. For, again, this is good for polutan. When you drink your beer, your red horse or your San Miguel, 
perfect. Now, here's your fresh ocean farm tilapia. Raised in the ocean in Ecuador, flown in three times a week to make sure that's fresh here at the store. Sweet, very sweet. Very different from the frozen fish tilapia that you regularly buy. So if you want fresh ocean farm tilapia, go look for the gill tag that says no antibiotic on it, no chemical, and it's guaranteed fresh. Here's our true red snapper. These are caught at the Sea of Cortez in Mexico, in the Gulf side and the Pacific side. So when you go mainly to the Mexican restaurant, they got the red fish, which is the huachinango. Deep fry, mild or crispy. Just a little bit of salt, perfect to pair it with rice. Mm -mm -mm. This is your mullet. Mullets caught either in Mexico or Ecuador or Florida. Perfect for paxiu, again, or pan fry. And this is your giant perch, which is caught in Taiwan, farm race here. And this is good for pan frying again. Mainly all pan fry. And for, again, simigang is good. This is your yellowtail snapper. It's flown in once or twice a week from Brazil. Mainly similar with the true red snapper. Same family, but has a different taste. A little bit sweeter and flakier white meat. Perfect for pan fry or deep fry. Then this perfect one right here, which is Lapu Lapu, which is the strawberry grouper. Again, this is caught in Brazil. Perfect for pan fry, deep fry, or even sinigang too. This is your jackfish, which is talakitok. Talakitok is caught in Florida, Mexico, or Philippines. So, talakitok. Pan fry, again, deep fry, perfect. Gasper goo, which is the goo family. Gasper goo or sheephead, they call it. Those are locally caught in Louisiana or Texas. Great for pan fry or deep fry. Now, this is one of my favorite. Striped bass. Striped bass, you can steam this. This striped bass is either caught in Taiwan or out of Texas, out of Maine or Virginia. This is good for sinigang or bake. But again, this has a lot of fat, which is rich in omega. Omega-3 is good for you. But again, be careful, because when you have a lot of this fat and you pair it with rice, boy, there's a lot of rice that you're gonna eat, okay? So be careful. Then this is the lane snapper, which is the same family of the yellowtail snapper and the true red snapper. Those are good for fry and deep fry. Now, this is a special fish right here. This is campachi. Campachi is either raised in Baja, Mexico, and there's one that's raised in Hawaii, in Kona, in cold water and a little bit of warm water in Baja. But they're similar fish. The only difference with the Baja fish and the Kona Hawaii fish, this is a little bit shorter and fatter. And the one from Kona is a little bit longer. So this is special fish. This is a family of yellowtail. You can fillet this and slice it for sashimi. The other part, you can loin it from here when you cut it right here, loin it or bake it, okay? So you can do sashimi or sushi on this special fish. Catfish, bake, broil, sinigang, frito, fry, whatever. Very versatile fish. Catfish is farm raised in Louisiana and Texas. Trucked in three times a week from those states to here to California. So as soon as they harvest it from the farm, it's trucked in and brought here. So this is the frozen tilapia. Frozen tilapia is mainly raised in Vietnam, Taiwan, or China. Sometimes the Philippines too. They bring it here. So it's very versatile fish for frito, fry. Sometimes people steam it, but if you're gonna steam tilapia, make sure you get the fresh tilapia from Ecuador. And you will enjoy the sweetness of that tilapia. This is the salmon. Salmon, farm raised from Canada, from Chile, Australia, and New Zealand. But this particular salmon right here is farm raised from Canada. Perfect for broil, fry, sinigang, whatever you want. It's again, be careful with the rice. Thank you.